This lesson is part of the price action series and it's on breaker blocks. So a breaker block, leading on from a previous lesson you've seen on order blocks, is the same principle applied just with different outcomes. So first of all, I want to say breaker blocks are simply a high probability area for a failed test to occur. And as such, they can offer a good entry point for trades. They're not magic. They simply show where traders are most likely to be trapped, creating support or resistance on a retest. The reason for this is the lesson you learned previously about order blocks, the opposite applies here on breaker blocks. Because when an order block fails, it becomes a breaker block. So if you were a trader who traded order blocks and always bought a bullish one and always sold a bearish one, there are going to be times when you're wrong and the market goes through the block and invalidates it. If you don't exit that trade, you are now a trapped trader. And the logic is that if price goes back to the order block, you will close your position at break even or take a small loss. So that's what the breaker blocks represent. They represent an invalidated order block and they're the highest probability area for a new trend to begin with a lower high or a higher low. As for actually trading them, your invalidation, very simply, is above or below the block. That will be covered in more depth in the next lesson, which goes into how to apply breaker blocks. But let's look visually on the chart and see what a breaker block looks like. So here is a bullish breaker block and a bearish breaker block. As you can see, this was previously a bearish order block. Okay, I'll zoom in. This was an up candle, which led to a further leg of a downtrend. So remember your order block lesson. When you have an up candle that leads to more downside, that candle when it leads to a break of structure like this one did, that candle becomes a bearish order block, right? So let's first of all note that it is a bearish order block. There is a break of structure, which was the swing low, the lowest candles here. Price then closes below it on hourly candles or whatever time frame. This is from an hourly chart. Then it sweeps liquidity. So the liquidity level also gets hit. Very clear that this is a continued downtrend, yes? Now, after this point, after this impulse, which has a market structure break, the bearish order block gets invalidated and it then becomes a potential bullish breaker block. Note the word potential. Nothing is guaranteed. It doesn't automatically mean that once this gets invalidated, that it immediately becomes bullish. However, in this example, it does act bullish and hold. Why is that? Just like I said at the start, there were many people who would have sold within this block. It then broke down, so they were on the right side. We then revisited here and on all these candles, and more people would have sold and sold and sold because they're told the principle is, this is a valid bearish order block. I should sell. Price is going to go lower. Price doesn't go lower. Guess what? All those traders, plus many more, are now underwater they are offside, they're on the wrong side of the market, and therefore, whenever after it pushes up a little bit and then comes back, they're going to close their shorts. What does that create? It creates buying pressure and that creates support. And in this example, the breaker block becomes valid after the bearish order block gets invalidated and retested, All right? For a bearish breaker block, it's the same thing in reverse. It's a previously bullish order block that gets valid, invalidated. So we are in an uptrend here, pumps up, creates a consolidation, up again, consolidation. The last down close candle before this final break, so you have a break of structure here, whenever price closes above the swing high, and then it takes out liquidity. Very clear that we're in an uptrend, right? Price comes all the way back down. It holds. The, the block looks bullish. All of a sudden, we break down through it. We get a market structure break, MSB, 
This was the previous market structure level. That was the previous swing low. After this breakdown, this now becomes a breaker block. Because it was previously a bullish order block, it is now a bearish breaker block. Price comes back up to it. In this instance, doesn't exactly get right into it. You'll know that because there's always a possibility of front running. However, in the end, this does hold as bearish. The block becomes bearish. And it becomes your area for price to not get back through if the principle is going to hold. So those are two bearish bullish for our order blocks and our breaker blocks. To summarize, a breaker block is simply an invalidated order block that flips from being a bullish support of a trend into a bearish confirmation of a reversal or a bearish support of a trend into a bullish confirmation of reversal.